Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam, or Xjaws, and today I'm bringing you guys a game of Groundwork Team Deathmatch on the map Array. And uh, this was a game I actually got while going for Ninja Pro, I believe, on my third prestige. And I can tell that because, um, I can't tell that it's my third prestige, I'm just guessing. Um, but I can tell that I was going for Ninja Pro because um, up until recently, I was not a fan of the silencers. And obviously, uh, 150 su uh, suppressed kills, whatever, I call them silencers, I apologize if that bothers you. But I'm so used to previous Call of Duty games. Uh, but anyway, um, one of the requirements for Ninja Pro is 150 suppressed kills. Um, so I was doing that, and I've been doing that every prestige. Uh, mainly, I've been going for hardline, sleight of hand, and ninja. I find hardline really beneficial for the way I play because uh, what I use hardline pro for is I go into search and destroy pretty much from level like 30 onward up to 50, and I uh, I roll with like uh, spy plane, care package, and Valkyrie missiles. I find that they're really really helpful. I know that the care package is really newbie, and I, I probably I don't know if I've ever used it in like a team deathmatch based game, or I really don't like to at least um, but I really like it for search and destroy for two reasons number one uh, I'm happy with a spy plane out of a care package I really am like uh, I know that this might sound silly but I would I would consider taking the spy plane as my second kill streak and my fifth kill streak or my third and fifth or second and fourth whatever you want to say with hardline it's second and fourth without hardline it's third and fifth but um the reason why i say that is just because number one i wouldn't have to wait for the care package to drop to get whatever i'm going to get and um also it's just the spy plane is so helpful in search and destroy and i see so many people run the rc car in search and destroy it is ridiculous to me because i'm thinking to myself you know I know there's a lot of guys who run Ghost, don't get me wrong, I know there's like, you know, at least 50% of the people in this game, I, I believe, are running Ghost, um, but still, I can, you know, usually use my uh, Spy Plane to get me at least two kills in a Search and Destroy game, and my RC car, well, I don't really use them all that often, but I, I actually, I don't know if I've ever used one uh, other than from Care Packages, um, but when I see other people use RC cars, they're not getting like doubles and triples left and right, but I have gotten games where I've gotten four to five kills with uh, my UAV up in the air. So I find that the UAV is way, way more helpful, not only to yourself, but also your teammates. And um, I guess that's kind of why I would use it. And also, honestly, and I don't mean to, you know, I don't mean to belittle anybody or try and be, I'm not trying to be mean or a douche at all. But in my honest opinion, using an RC car is basically saying to your teammates, fuck you. Like, you know, I know, you know, I could throw up a spy plane and help us all out. But, you know, this RC car, it's like a guaranteed kill, man. How about I just use this for myself and, and we'll be good. Because even though you yourself might die immediately after calling in the spy plane, you still have, you know, five or maybe a little bit less teammates um, who work perfectly well who will be able to use that spy plane to the full or the maximum potential. So uh, that's why I really like the spy plane and would consider having it as two of my kill streaks if that was possible. But anyway, so that's kind of why I like the care package. Uh, if I can get a spy plane out of it awesome and if I get something better awesome like you know I don't really care I will skip for the record with hardline pro I'll skip over things like attack helicopters sentry guns all that sort of stuff that isn't like that great it's either got to be a spy plane um, or uh, it's got to be a grim reaper a death machine or a blackbird chopper gunner dogs or whatever gunship um, so I skip over all the middle stuff because you know it might be more beneficial to myself but the spy plane is going to be really helpful for myself and my team so anyway um, I, I think I talked about the spy plane for way too long right there but it's an awesome kill streak <laughs> so uh, anyway um, this game as I said I was using suppressors and I found that they are a lot more helpful lately because I'm a player who really doesn't run ghosts that often as you, if you you know couldn't already tell by my videos and me just talking about how I don't really care about ghosts I care about hardline um, I, I just don't run with um, ghosts because I find that if I can do well in a game I can prevent the enemy from even getting their air support and using a silencer is like the equivalent of me having ghosts it's the equivalent of like what better than ghost honestly because you know, all those times where I'm killing people where I would be showing up on the radar I'm not and all my teammates are so it kind of draws attention not only like is the attention not coming from me but it's drawing the attention away from me which is great I love that and that's also a reason why I like to stay away from my teammates as much as possible when I play you'll notice that throughout the game throughout my games it's sort of like a 
a reoccurring theme to my videos. I try and stay as far from my teammates as possible. You'll see like all my teammates were sitting back in this area and I'm just like fuck this. I'm just going to run up to this car. I don't want to be sitting back with my teammates getting picked off and uh, worked out pretty well. Uh, game ends in just a minute here. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this game. If you uh, liked it, then please give it a rating. If you disliked it, then give it a rating as well and dislike it, whatever. And uh, that's the end of this game. I will see you guys later. I think the final score is 48 and 4. Peace out.